Hey guys, Vehicle Hunter here. I want to show you this car. It is a 1993 Toyota pickup truck. That's right, not even a Tacoma. It's called just pickup truck. It is probably one of the most reliable and durable trucks, cars you can possibly get. It is indestructible. There's a saying in the car world, if there's ever like the end of the world, the only things left are going to be these Toyota pickup trucks and cockroaches. These things are just completely indestructible. And just so you know, this is a 93. It's four-wheel drive. It's five-speed. It's got all the really good things that uh, everybody wants in pickup trucks. This is a, a very valuable car. And it was uh, mostly used in South Dakota. So that means there's very little rust. There is some rust. I don't know if you guys can tell. There is some rust. The, it needs a new exhaust. Or on this side, you can probably weld the exhaust. But it's not uh, like most of the pickup trucks of this era that uh, need a whole new frame. This is a 93. So it wasn't really destroyed with rust it's incredible because they lived in south dakota so they treat their snow much different than we do here on the east coast let's look on the inside pretty clean on the inside you would think that it would be a, a little bit more worn but it is it's a very basic truck that's uh what people don't understand about these trucks and why they fetch so much money is because that they're so simple there's hardly anything to break on this because everything is mechanical even the windows are mechanical look at this and i like this part about the windows you push this in and then a pretty handy thing that you can flip like this and the wind will just come and like hit you i like this little thing people don't buy this for the creature comforts there's no airbags at all not even in the driver's um, side it's got a big eight ball stick shift here's the four wheel drive high, uh, high four high two low four and the neutral i usually put it on two wheel drive and if you take the seats forward you'll see there's two additional seats back here let me get in it's a very tight squeeze you can sit kind of like sideways and if you lift this up it's a nice feature on the Nissan hardbody the seats are actually on this side and you fold them down so the people actually face each other but this one is a little bit different and then you have this and you have a little bit of storage underneath here which is like a very cool feature so you can put tools or maybe some valuables in here and this is where the speakers would be another interesting thing is this kind of pops out because this is the extra cab version by the way one thing that's very interesting about this car is that the driver's seat it is a little bit bigger than the passenger seat you have a little bit more space here and you have this armrest which is a cool little feature having this thing compared to my Nissan hardbody the quality on this is so much higher compared to my 1993 hard body and if you guys know this is a 93 as well but the quality difference is incredible it is solid super solid like the doors like just the way they shut it is like a solid piece of machinery very well made extra cab four-wheel drive i mean this thing is just going to be trucking forever and ever and it sits pretty high off the ground too in the um, the bed you can see there's a little bit of wear from you know dropping things onto the bed but not bad at all there's hardly any you know frills about this this is why it makes it so desirable you have the fuel gauge you have your speedometer odometer 126,000 miles and then you have your temperature gauge signals and then down here you have uh, dummy lights on this side maybe you guys on YouTube will know what this is clutch start cancel 
I'm not sure what that is. I've never seen that in any car. So, And this is a very typical thing of Toyota. Even my Paseo has got the same button. They just keep using these buttons from car to car. Eliminates the dash. On this side, you have your emergency. You have your vents, which are pretty standard. And then you have your cup holders, which is kind of cool. So the cup holder is right up here. Your AC. And the AC and the heat do work on this truck. Over here you have your time. And then you can adjust it using each minute and whatever. Glove box. You have your ashtray. And then you have your cigarette lighter. If you're into that. Let's look at the engine. Let's pop it. Engine bay. New battery by the way. This is the 22RE four-cylinder motor. It is probably the most desirable engine that Toyota makes. Really incredible. Key goes in. So the, uh, the high noise is really the exhaust. So I'll show you right here. I was thinking about fixing it, but it just sounds way cooler. And I'm going to take it for a little test drive. I'm going to talk to you guys how it drives. Um, I have driven it a little bit and it drives really well. I'm really surprised that the quality of this truck is this high because I do have a 1993 hard body, a Nissan hard body. And it's the same year. It's uh, about the same thing. It's a little mini truck. The Nissan is basically just kind of falling apart on the the body. The engine, the four-cylinder engine on the Nissan is excellent. This is a four-cylinder engine, but compared the Nissan to the Toyota, this one, it is, the Toyota is just so much better. And I can understand why people are paying thousands and thousands of dollars for one of these because the quality of it is extremely solid. Like when you get in this truck, you feel like you're uh, you're getting something a little bit special. It's durable. It feels rugged, and of course, this is a extra cab, four wheel drive pickup truck, which is very desirable. And break in, and this thing starts up right away. Yeah, the quality is just pretty amazing like you drive in this truck and you feel like you can drive forever and ever because it's just so reliable I kind of wish I could drive this thing off-road but I don't really want to damage it so one thing to note is that it's got only 126,000 miles like I've seen these trucks on Craigslist Cra Craigslist left and right for like you know five thousand dollars with two hundred thousand miles these things hold up in value that's what i find incredible because if i was to sell my nissan hard body i could get maybe fifteen hundred dollars they will last you forever and ever but keep in mind that they get pretty bad gas mileage i think they get like 20 miles to the gallon which is incredible for today because now they have SUVs are much larger and they get 30 miles per gallon, so just something to keep in mind. Revving it up a little bit. And it's a pretty comfortable car, too. It's not uh, difficult to drive or anything. 